hey guys welcome back to this channel in this video i will be teaching you how to play the new sony games shadow generations and as i always said please make sure to look the commentary section because there i will be you there will be the files that we're using in this video all these documents that i'm using will be there so please make sure to take a look to be able to have the correct information over there First, we need to start installing the emulator, in this case will be the Regins one. What we need to do just will be press the set files, just show more and extract two. It will be give us this folder, what we need to do just will be open the regins.exe. It will be show us this screen, but don't worry, it will be the one that will be compiling the games and show up this one. After this, we have the emulator downloaded, what we need to do in this case will be configured. For the reason we need to go to the additional files and extract here also it will be create two folders the firmware and the keys what we need to do now it will be just go to file open regions folder and we'll be have this folder we will have to open the keys one that the one we just extract go to system and here copy the key two files are on the key folder and place on the system on the regions we have to replace these two files and then we have the keys installed the next step will be install the firmware what we need to do just will be go to tools install firmware install from a directory and then we only have to choose to choose the firmware folder in this case will be this one select folder it will be asking you if we want to install we just press yes it is installing and here we are we have the firmware isolated and also the keys the next step will be configuring the emulator to have the better performance possible for that reason we have to go to options settings and over here we have this menu what we need to do first is will be uncheck this one to avoid unnecessary access just make sure to uncheck and here you can add where your games are located in this part just only add and select where your games are in my case it will be in the downloads go to input and select the best option to play your games in this case you can select the one you want you can select an xbox controller and a playstation 5 controller whatever you want even a nintendo switch controller and system select the system radio most close to you the system language the preferred one for you in this case i will be using latin american and spanish and then you can leave as me in cpu turn off pptc and memory manager mode host and check it and graphics mode this is important as this message said we have to select the best one depending on your system if you have an old nvidia graphics card make sure to use opengl but if you have a really new graphics card you can use Vulkan as well so please here please make sure to select your gpu in my case will be this one and then select these three options and resolution scale that this is also important if your graphics card it's not uh, have a really good performance or it's not a top performance make sure to select native it will be give us a more performance and more fps if you have a really good graphics card that can performance better, you can select higher resolutions. At aliasing, you can live in this way and full screen scaling FSR in 80%. This one you can live on automatic and aspect radio, you can select the best for you or your monitor. In my case, I will be using it straight to the window. You can use on automatic or this one. On backend graphics, you can live on true on. And audio you can leave at default and just apply and okay with that we have the emulator totally configured with the keys and also the firmware i will be launching the game just to show you how the game is running at this moment it will be, it will be taking a few seconds just to compile all the files to be able to run the game And as you can see, the game just get runs without any issues. In 
And over here we have the game. You can select the Sonic Generation or Shadow Generation. As well, in this case we'll be choosing Shadow Generation in the game. And sorry, the game from Zero. As you can see, the game is running totally stable without any issues and the best performance possible. I will be skipping this, it will be loading again. But as you can see, the game runs perfectly. And there you are, the game is running without any issues on Windows. As you can see, I don't know what is that key because I didn't map. But as you can see, the game is running perfectly without any issues. So keep in mind, if you have any questions, any doubts, you can leave in the commentary section and we'll be more than happy to help you. And then, this one, this simulator will be able to run the another game that is under this window that will be the Sonic Generation. I will be launching again just to show you that it's working without any issues. Just wait a few seconds. As you can see, I'll be just skipping all this and select Sonic Generation. It will be ROMs the game again. Don't worry, that is totally normal because it will be loading another game into this one. And there you are, the game gets run without any problems and you will be able to run this game as well, as you can see. It is loading. And you can see the game gets run without any problems. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope the video helps to you. If you have any doubts, any questions, please let me know. And I'll be more than happy to help you in the commentary section. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.